Hey, what's going on guys? Mangum Sun here, bringing you another Destiny 2 video. So, today's talk is going to be about, so you skip Season of the Worthy. Or, if you're like me, you skipped about 99.9% .9 of it. It's coming up close to the end of Season of the Worthy. You may want to get back into Destiny, but you're like, you know what, what do I do? What What is there for me to do at this point in time that I can just jump back in there to have fun with Destiny again and try not to catch up on all the little things that's been going on in the game? Yes, we know there's been a whole lot of bugs and a whole lot of things that's not working properly. But you know what? No game's perfect, right? So what do you want to do? What, what, what can you do, right? So first thing you could do is start stockpiling. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go in there, look at your character. No matter what the character's level is or what you got going on or whatever, just go ahead and think about what you could be doing, which is gains. Glimmer gains, Legendary Shard gains, Bright Dust gains. These things can be easily done just by playing the game, going in there, just, you know, not worrying about those Seraph Tower bunkers or not worrying about if the Fell Winters, Fell Winters Lie quest is all sorts of jacked up and what have you. You know what? That shotgun is probably a great shotgun, but there'll be better guns later in the road. So don't bring yourself out on trying to do something that you really don't want to do if you don't want to do it you know what i can look at my vault probably got about a thousand shotguns in there that i was just like you know what this shotgun is the truth but i don't use it because i have mind benders so there you go now maxing on the legendary shards probably not going to be one of the hardest things that you would think you'd have to do a lot of people think getting legendary shards is some mathematical equation of impossibility between all the level grinding and the infusion you got going on but you're not really focused too much on infusion just go ahead and get your legendary shard game up by talking to the spider going in there figuring out what he's got for sale what can you buy you know what get your glimmer gains like i said get your glimmer gains up go over there to the barge over there on the ness's barge and Spin your glimmer over there, get your runes up, because Menagerie isn't going anywhere. It's one of the best contents in the game, and now with Destiny having their ornamental system transmogrification coming up later in the year, you're really going to want to have that Menagerie armor or the Reverie Dawn armor from the Dreaming City, because those armor pieces do look pretty cool, and if you get your Bright Dust up, you can then later convert those pieces of armor into universal ornaments just by playing the game. So those are some of the little things that you can do since you skip Season of the Worthy. Now, everything's been kind of moved around in the game with the pinnacles and where you're going to get those from and how you get pinnacle gear and powerful gear. It's probably going to change again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the pinnacle or... Don't worry about where you're going to get your next powerful drop from. Just go in there, have fun, because getting to level 1000 is probably just going to happen in the background naturally anyway, because that's where the rest of the game is going. So there's no reason to stress over anything like that. Go ahead and hit the strike playlist and just keep it moving. You just got to keep it going, right? And the longer you stay up in there, the longer you just crank out some Destiny 2 content, you'll just you'll get back into the rhythm of it. Now, let's say you don't want to mess with the strike playlist. I understand that, but there's a game mode out there for anybody and everybody. So we also got Gambit. I know it's everybody's favorite game mode with Reckoning and Gambit Prime and Gambit Regular. You know what? It's like, which one do I jump into? All of them. Jump into all of them. There's no reason you shouldn't be because you go over here to Gambit, you get Pinnacle Gear. You go over here to Gambit Prime, guess what? You get Pinnacle Gear. You go over there to Reckoning. You know what? Start working on that that moat collector thing that you you produce the moats from. Get some good armor because I know if I go into a gambit match and I look across the street and somebody's wearing that all red armor, that guy's gonna be a problem. I know it. If I look over there on my side of the street and I see someone wearing all white armor, maybe we got a little bit more of a chance. Who knows? You know what I mean? But it's an armor. It's an armor set that people are sleeping on, and they're going to revamp Reckoning later on. So why not just get in the habit of doing it now while it's hard, and then when it becomes easier, it'll have something else for you to do. So 
with all that, right? Let's say you're not going to go into Gambit. You don't want to deal with any of that. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. So we'll go over here to the Crucible. It's got like nine different hoppers in it, right? It's got nine different modes that you can play in. Classic Control, Rumble, everyone's favorite because 1v1s uh, always happen in there. And, you know, you got the, the rotators at the top of Clash and whatever else this game mode that no one else plays, whether it's Lockdown or whatever else they have going on, like Demolition. I don't even know. I don't play up there. But you got regular elimination and then you have survival, which gets replaced with Trials of Osiris on the weekends. But you know what? Get good. So, but no one's talking about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about Trials here. We don't talk about the cheaters and the infinite supers and the handheld supernovas that can follow you around the map. And you have to respawn and then you get hit with a Nova Bomb again. And then you respawn and then that Nova Bomb splitting the Nova Bombs and then that hits you again. And then, you know, we, we don't talk about that here though. So... What else do you want to do? So, Crucible sounds like a bunch of fun. And we'll just go ahead and we'll get our free item acquisitions from the Season Pass. Yes, if you have the Season Pass, come over here to your Season Pass. Click on the box. Claim it. Get that gear, right? Get all that gear. Get your exotic up. Get your legendaries. Get your Season of the Worthy armor that you get for free. There's no point in to not get that armor. And as you play the game, you'll go ahead and rank up that season pass, no problem. You know what? As far as I'm seeing right now, I got 18 days left on it, 14 hours. Don't really care. There's not really anything in here that I'm dying to get. I think I can hold off a little bit on missing out on some of the seventh Seraph Greaves that they got up in here because, you know what? Everybody needs that. And... The seventh Seraph weapons, come on, who's who's gonna be using the submachine gun? Actually, like anybody, anybody? No, okay. So I didn't think so because Recluse exists and it hasn't been sunset yet, right? So not gonna go in there and break my neck for that. This is a kind of cool looking ship, but there's gonna be cooler ships. Let's be honest, because there has to be, because you know then who would buy it? So. Let's go further down the line. Enhancement prisms. Banshee has those. Bundles of destination materials. Whew. It's a good thing that's here on the seasonal track because uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with all those destination resources bundles that I've been trying to get for so long. You know what? It's, it's insane. It's hard out there for resources. So free items, acquisitions from the season pass, season of the worthy. Go ahead and claim them, get them, get your exotic, get your exotic, get your exotic if you run three characters because, you know, if you really play Destiny, then, you know, you play three characters. So, break them down, put them in a vault, do what you want with them. But there is stuff for you to do. You don't got to sit here on your thumbs and be like, well, I'm behind. Well, it's, it's not been the best season, let's be honest. It's Drifter 2.0. And there's only so much you can do and so little time. So the world's out there burning. Destiny's out here hurting. What can you do? You could play other games because backlog is a thing. But we're talking about things you can do in Destiny. Things you can do in Destiny is get your stuff up. Get your Glimmer, your Legendary Shards, and your Bright Dust up. Hit up the repeatable bounties. Start stockpiling on all your... Enhancement prisms, your finest matter weaves, and your enhancement cores, and your ascended shards, and what have you. Start getting all that stuff up. Get these tokens up. These tokens, I think I I have 2,996 of them sitting here. But I think I got about 9,000 sitting in a vault. They just kept taking up space. So I just I put them away. This is before everything got put together. But you know what I mean. Get your tokens up. Because when they revamp Vanguard, when they revamp Shax, and when they revamp a whole bunch of the other stuff in the game, they're just waiting to revamp everything, but you're not going to be ready when that new stuff comes out because you took a little bit of a break. So, you know what? I'm not saying come in here and break your neck. You don't got to go into the Dream of City and go into the Blind Well and do mindless activities. It's not what I'm saying. But there are things that you can do. Knock it out in about an hour or two. Get back off the game. Come back at it again. I know people are sitting on gunsmith materials. Banshee loves gunsmith materials. So 
Go ahead and cash those out or build them up. It's your choice. You cash them out, you get legendary shards. You don't cash them out, you got some for later. So it's a win-win in my opinion. I'm sitting on all these Iron Banner tokens because for right now, I feel like all the Iron Banner armor sucks. But when it comes around again, they're still going to use the same tokens. I'm going to be ready. So, but as always, all good things must come to an end. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for listening. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.